What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome to some Don't Starve Shipwrecked. Now of course the Shipwreck DLC came out for Don't Starve back at the beginning of December. And here it is January and finally I have enough balls to try an actual run and put it on the channel. As uh, I've had varying luck but one thing's for certain I've had a ton of fun with Shipwrecked. And it kind of revitalized Don't Starve in my opinion and what was already an awesome game is now just exciting as hell again. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and start off a new series here. Now uh, this first one, I'm going to use Wendy as, you know, Wendy's kind of OP. Once you get Abigail in the mix, oh yeah, shit just happens. So uh, let's go ahead and get things started in a brand new Don't Starve world. Now hopefully I'm going to get lucky, find some message in a bottles find uh, some coral right away, maybe find some gears. Oh man, how incredible would that be? Day one though, all those things are far out, far, far out. And uh, for my first day here, I'm going to just mainly try to explore this initial island, get it mapped out, and then start thinking about a home as, uh, you know, as soon as I find gold, I want to start settling and start building out my main base. Now I will have multiple bases throughout the game. But I want to find the area where my main base is going to be. Now, I like seeing limpet rocks so close together. Oh, yes. Thank you very much for the yum-yums. Still got a ways to go before I can uh, make an axe. Hey, where's the damn flint? Look at all these limpet rocks. Good lord. With no flint. <laughs> I would love to chop down a tree and get me some of them yummy coconuts, but... No, no flint. Now, I'm sure we'll find some here at some point, somewhere on this island. No flint means no axe, means no fire. <laughs> no life. Gotta get that wood. Anyway, got uh, a little ways to go before we can bust Abigail out, of course. Just gonna circle this island. I want to get this island mapped on day one, like I said. My god, another limpet. I've got limpets and crab holes, which is the ideal situation for an island for me to call home base. Now, hopefully, there is another biome attached to this island. And if that's the case, oh, this might be home sweet home right out of the gates. How awesome would that be? Now, I've had uh, some varying luck with shipwreck so far. Here's some flint. Good lord, it's about time. It's uh, going to have to hammer some of these tree da trees down. Now, although I'm not going to be farming the palm trees long term, in these first few days I got no worries about tree guards. So, uh, oh, these trees are going down. And here's all the flint. It was hiding all out down here. And uh, in, in addition to uh, not having to worry about tree guards on these first days, we also can make uh, kind of a mini backpack, which was added in Shipwrecked, with just four of these palm leaves. And, um, you know, obviously it's a mini backpack, but it's easy mode. You get it instantly. All you have to do is bother with crafting it. Now, you're only going to use this for the first few days until you get a science machine. But right out of the gates, it's nice to have those four extra inventory slots. I'm trying to avoid these little trees. Yeah, I like this island. Surfing turf is uh, going to be my food of choice through this playthrough. Awesome, there's the other biome. I got a jungle right over there, and uh, of course, the jungle is where I'm going to be doing my farming. I'm going to grow some trees there, I'm going to grow some bamboo. Yeah, what the hell? I might even have some berry bushes. And of course, uh, you know, I need to have have my bees far enough away where. They're not going to pester me at home. Once uh, monsoon season comes rolling around, monsoon, of course, is the version of spring. Hurricane season is going to be the winter. Let's see. Let's go ahead and make that uh, that starter starter pack. What is it called? The thatch pack? Yeah, the thatch pack. There we go. We get four instant uh, inventory slots right out of the gates. Now, a lot of these jungle biomes will have some gold to mine up in the middle of them and uh, boy that would make things awfully convenient 
Now this island is small. Now it did have a lot of limpet rocks and it had crab holes, so I got no gold here, but I am not going to complain about this island as a starter island, even though it is a little smaller than what I hoped. It's got all the necessary goodies. Now I still got daylight left and I've got my starter backpack and I got my original island mapped out for the most part. So I'm going to take this opportunity now to go ahead and get my first raft ready to go. Now um, there's two rafts you can make right out of the gates, the log raft and the regular raft. Now the log raft is uh, very, very slow, but very easily once you build your, your newest tool, which is the machete. Uh -oh. We got snakes up in here. I'm not too worried about uh, the damage the snakes do right out of the gates. Is just not an issue. More snakes. Die, snakey! Good lord. I finally got that. Got the vines there. I need one more vine. And then I'm going to need four of these uh, bamboos. So I'm going to have to get that before darkness falls, ideally. I'm actually getting really close to uh, dusk here now. There's another one up here. I'm going to do a lot of food sources in this run. There's uh, quite a few. Food is not really an issue in uh, Shipwreck. There's just lots of options for food. So I'm going to take advantage of a lot of those options. All right, I got my first raft ready to go. I got my initial island mapped out. I think I'm going to call it a night here. Roast up some coconuts. And you know what? Do I want to hammer rocks? I definitely don't want to hammer any limpets. Let's see uh, let's See what kind of rock situation we got. Or how many limpets do we have there? One, two, three, four, five. It actually it seemed like there was more than that, but yeah, five. I guess I could have just looked at my inventory and saw the five limpets there. Let's see, let's build a fire here, and I will actually chop down the rest of these trees uh, through the night. But first things first, let's get to roasting coconuts here. Am I going to have to... I hate... absolutely hate having to change the map view, but whatever, I'll do it if I have to. Oops, I don't want to plant you. I want to cook you. Dang it. There we go. I like having the original map view. I know it's not that big of a deal. But, maybe it's just me. It's not you, it's me, I swear it. Anyway, let's go ahead and chop these trees down. Boy, I haven't heard that since high school. Luckily, uh, the wife has put up with me for quite a while now. <laughs> Alright, plenty of logs for day one, but I'm just going to keep chopping here just uh, because it's just now dark. I actually uh, settled in for the night a little bit prematurely. I'm just going to burn up these palm leaves. And let's see, which direction do we want to go? I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll just go, you know, off to the right here. I'm going to call that east. Whether it is or not, I don't know, but it's going to be east for me. I'm closest to the shore off to the right here, so I'm just going to go ahead and take that route. But, I'm just going to farm up what else is in the area. I'm good on hunger, I'm good on sanity, I'm good on health. I'm not too concerned. Oh, as my health drops to practically nothing. <laughs> uh, got a little overzealous there. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to get any health back until I get a crock pot. Do the limpets give you health? I don't think they do. Let's see. Yeah, they do. They give you a one. Anyway, I'm not too concerned about my health as long as I don't do anything silly like run out there into the darkness again in search of two logs. That's all I got for that uh, 100 health or whatever was two logs. No biggie. Let's just go ahead and get the hell out of Dodge here. I like that island. It's got the five limpets. You know, six, seven, eight. I found one island once that had 13. You know, obviously those are, uh, the 13 is where I'd really like to be calling home for this run. But that is a really sweet spot. And it's got, uh, you know, it's got some area for farming. It's big. 
so uh, you know we'll have plenty of seashells for the tide which will help out quite a bit with our sanity but let's get over here and see where the next island is gonna be now although you can if you just go off in the wrong direction you can really just screw yourself once you get out to sea but finding other islands is not that difficult if you just look for the shallower water like this oh and we got coral right out of the gates oh haha <laughs> is that the wooden thingy or is that something else I don't know but I'm liking it now I only got 15 health or 16 health so I'm staying way the hell away from there but that is so awesome so I've got gears right out of the gates let me keep my distance from these boys as uh, I do not want to piss those guys off. But my god, that's the second thing I found was gears. So many of these don't starve runs, I haven't found gears at all. And here I'm finding them just offshore there. Incredible. Oh my god. My luck continues on. Message in a bottle. For those of you that don't know, the message in a bottle is going to mark a spot on the map, which happens to be on this island I'm coming up to. And there's going to be a goodie box. Now, uh, that goodie box could lead to my inevitable death. <laughs> but, there could also be some fat loots up in there. Two limpet rocks right out of the gates. Oh, and a third in view. I'm, I'm really liking my spawn here so far. You guys will know exactly what I'm talking about once I get some surf and turf cooking up. As uh, that surf and turf is absolutely the shit. Restores uh, hunger, sanity, and health. But of course, I can't get that till I find gold, and uh, have yet to find any gold so far. Now, uh, what? I've got 28 cut grass, 11 twigs. There's more limpets. I got pigs over here. I've got some options. Some options on this island as well. Now, let's look and see does this one have a second biome? I'm sure it does. Most of the islands you come across have more than one biome. There's bees. Bees, bees, bees. Yo, yo. I'm not going to bug you right now because Abigail is not about. And uh, I'm not scared to run. I'm not afraid to run off. Now, before I can get that X marks to spot, I actually need to find gold because I need to be able to make my science machine. I don't need any more wood, that's for damn sure. So no more tree chopping. More bees. Very nice. More limpets. I, I'm really lucky on the setup of these islands so far. Having limpets that close together and that easy to farm is going to be awesome. Now there's my X marks the spot that I am uh, not in a position to dig up yet. I don't need any more wood, so I'm not going to chop that tree down. I, I could use some more twigs and cut grass, but on the same note, I won't really want to find gold as soon as possible. So I'm just going to get to exploring around this island. And, um, you know, I'm going to basically map out the amount of limpid rocks that are on it, which uh, there has been a few so far. So very, very nice there. However, I'm definitely not going to pass on any flint. I'm not concerned with rocks until I find gold. And uh, there's not going to be any gold on this island as uh, just the one biome. It seems like gold uh, can be found pretty readily in the jungle. But no jungle here. So let's just head on back down to the raft. Actually, let's see if there's another limpet rock in the middle here. In that area that I have yet to map out. It doesn't look like... Oh, I spoke too soon. There's one. So this was another nice, nice haul for limpet rocks. How many do we have? One, two, three... Actually, only four! Huh, once again, it seemed like more of them. Uh, how many limpets do I have? I currently have eight. See, I ate one of them, just to test it out for its health benefits. I'm not really going to be able to get my health back up, I don't think, until I can get a crock pot. Let's see, which direction do I want to go? Okay, now I got the coral and the gears right down below. I'm going to head over to the west to find the next island over here and hopefully find some gold. If I find some gold and I can get things, uh, or at least get headed back to home base island by day three, I'll be very, very happy. Now, uh, I think I mentioned seaweed. I'm not positive. Seaweed's awesome. Pick up all the seaweed. Uh, 
going against the waves here. Rough. The surf is rough. Well, let's see. Do we have some more shallows right up here, hopefully? Oh, nothing yet. Come on, shallows. Where are you? The darkness is coming. And I am headed to deep water with darkness incoming. I don't know if that was the smartest plan. I'd hate to just have to park out here with a torch all night. You can, I can light a torch on the raft, but I can't move while uh, holding the torch. Okay, do we have the potential for shallows up here? God, I hope so. The sun is setting quickly. There we go. There's some shallows, so there should be some more land. I'll be able to get up there and get a fire started. Hopefully without a problem here, if I can just find the damn bank. Where are you? Come on. There it is. Monkeys. God damn monkeys. If you have yet to play Shipwrecked, you will quickly see from my playthrough how irritating these damn monkeys can be. There's some mangrove. And we found a touchstone. Oh yeah. Very close to the spawn. So if I drop a... I'm going to drop a... Ch oh, in gold. Yes. Gold has arrived. All right, let's get some light going here. Where do I want to go? I want to be able to farm some gold. I guess I can just uh, spend the night picking stuff up and cooking up uh, goodies. Once I get a shovel, all of these pi magma piles that have the gold sparkles are just like the gold rocks. There's, uh, there's going to be some gold up in there. And that pleases me greatly. So let's see, what can I cook? All right, we got coconuts. I think I'm going to save those coconuts, and we'll cook up the seaweed and munch on that. The seaweed... Oops. Well, there's one benefit you see right there. You can eat the seaweed raw <laughs> without any any concerns for your health. So that's awesome. Let's see, we'll cook up this seed as well. Munch it down. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night there. Got 18 logs. I'll burn up some of these palm leaves to make it through the night. But that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. This is going to be a long series. I'm really, really hoping to be able to lap over the years and build out just the most impressive, ungodly thing you've ever seen in your life. But uh, there is the start of it. So thank you for watching. Be back soon. See ya.